Hong Kong, united in Japan on April 4, 1928 in St. Louis, but grew up with her grandparents in Stamp You may shoot me with your words, you may cut me with your eyes, you may kill me with your hatefulness, but life air I'm still lost by my injury. Along to give life. A 
across the board. It, it doesn't matter. Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Pentecostal, or as our numbers are in decline. Uh, baptisms are down. Uh, and many have no desire for the church. Uh, it is easy to become discouraged uh, while dealing with these circumstances. As we look at them, uh, uh, we can easily become discouraged. Uh, our text today was written by that Apostle Paul uh, while he was, note this, note this, while he was bound captivity in Rome. Uh, he had been accused by his own countrymen. It's something that's to be accused, but by your own folks? The folks that said they love you? Uh, huh, huh. They accused him regarding his preaching of the gospel. But Paul had been faithful to the Lord, uh, continuing to preach even at the risk of his own safety. Uh, and because he was preaching, this was his reward, uh, confined in shackles in Rome. Uh, he had been regulated uh, to a life of confinement, couldn't go where he wanted to go, uh, couldn't do what he wanted to do. It would have been easy to become discouraged and abandon the faith. Uh, Paul, Paul could have easily assumed, just because he was in prison, uh, that his life work was over. But yet he remained committed and resilient. Uh, he refused to allow difficult circumstances to dictate his life and his ministry. Uh, Paul knew there was work yet to be done for the Lord. Uh, would you let me ask you a question this morning? Uh, have, you ever, have you ever gave your best, uh, the best that you have, uh, uh, and yet you feel unappreciated? Uh, have you ever feel uh, Nobody seems to care. Uh, but as children of God, we must understand that we all have battles to face. Uh, and many times there are those who say, I'm tired of this. Uh, enough. And they throw in the towel. They walk away because of rejection, because of being talked about, lied on. Huh? And they say to themselves, guess what? I don't have to take this, Sister Erica, so I quit. Mm -hmm. I found out, though, of pastoring. Pastoring is one of the most daunting tasks one can be called to. Uh, it is the second, though, highest burnout rate than any other task. Uh, uh, it's exceeded burnout, tired, walk away. Huh? We got preachers walking away from the pulpit. Huh? I can't take it no more. Huh? I'm tired. Huh? These people have gotten on my last. They won't listen. They don't care. So I quit. I don't have to take this. Huh? But, 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 but. Uh, and they understand. But for all of this, I'm trying to give my best. Uh, I'm trying to raise my family. Uh, and, and many times I have to work as a pastor uh, because the salaries at the church are not enough to afford a decent living. Uh, and come on that with the demands of visiting the sick, uh, burying the dead, uh, holding Bible study, uh, preparing the message. Guess what? It takes it's told. Uh, many realize this, uh, and they 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 uh, they, 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 they say, huh, I don't know if I want to do this or not. Uh, uh, but but I found out, Taylor, that this is nothing new. This phenomenon is nothing new. Uh, uh, let me let me let me take you back to the Old Testament, huh? For do anybody remember Elijah? Uh, Elijah asked the Lord to take him. Now, Jeremiah said, Lord, you fooled me. Uh, you know, guess what? Uh, he, he, he wanted to quit. Huh? Both of them wanted to quit. But both was able to fulfill their calling with the help of God. Anybody? 
Anybody here know you need God on your side? Huh? Huh? I, I know you have what? Huh? For I have, huh? I have you know, endured some hurts. Endured some now. Huh? Huh? Some disappointments. Huh? And yes, there's been time I have wanted to throw in the towel and walk away as well. Huh? Uh, but like Jeremiah, but like Jeremiah, uh, something on the inside of me just wouldn't let me. Uh, it's called you know, preaching while hurting. Preaching while hurting. Uh, we have all been hurt at some point along the way. Uh, and while I don't enjoy those encounters or condone such activities, I know I cannot allow my past hurts and disappointments to sideline me, to stop me now. Huh? For if we allow past hurts to hinder us, Satan has won. Hey, we must be willing to let go of the pain of the past and the present time and continue for the Lord. So I come today uh, to encourage you, to let you know that it's just not the preacher's job to spread the good news. Uh, it's all of those who have been saved and believe in Jesus. Uh, do you remember Jesus telling us the harvest is what? Great, uh, but the laborers are few. So guess what? It's, it's more than just the preacher. Uh -huh. It's you and I and what? Uh, he wants each of us to be about our own. Not your business, not your business. Huh? But who? I'm a father's business. So that brings me to my first point. Where my first point is? On this journey, you need to stay put. Stay put. Huh? Life may be hard. We may get tired and weary, wanting to quit. Huh? But let me let me encourage you to look toward the finish line. Huh? For I, I have finally learned huh, that uh, our troubles can't last forever. Huh? There is a brighter day. Uh, huh? Huh? But we got to run the race huh, to the finish line. Uh, 1 Corinthians 9, 24. Paul said, know ye not that they which won a race, everybody runs, uh, but only one received the prize. So he's encouraging you and I. We need to run in a way that we may obtain uh, the prize, huh? I believe we can all agree on this, huh? We all have pain from our body. Huh? Our legs hurt. Our knees hurt. Our back hurt. We got heart problems. Huh? Not only that, but we got family problems. Huh? huh? But we do it all. Uh, we keep on pushing. Even though it hurts to put one foot behind the other, huh? we know we have to keep moving. Huh? The same thing applies to our Christian walk. Huh? It may hurt, but we need to stay put. Huh? Paul reminds us that we have not gotten there yet. Huh? Did I just get to read to you? Paul said, look, look, look at me. Huh? I have not yet apprehended. Huh? But this one thing I do, Lord, I'm forgetting those things which are behind me. Huh? And I'm looking forward to those things which are before me. Huh? Paul was focused on even greater things ahead of us. Huh? That's something lies at the finish line. Huh? If we stay put. Huh? We need to re regain the zeal, the zeal uh, that we once had. Huh? Anybody here remember the joy you had when you first got saved? Oh, yes. When you first walked down that aisle? Huh? Do, do you remember? Life was good. Huh? There was excitement about serving the Lord. Huh? You look for opportunity to tell somebody else. Uh, you attended church uh, regularly. It was a priority. Uh, you only wanted a closer walk with Jesus. Uh, but sadly, guess what? A few roadblocks come up. Huh? Satan got on you. Huh? Uh, trials have come. And somewhere along the way, you lost your enthusiasm. Huh? Church, you, 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 you need to read on that zeal. Huh? Uh, you need to retain that zeal that uh, the Lord has given and renew your life. Huh? You need to understand that serving the Lord huh, is a privilege uh, 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 that brings joy. 
joy. Huh? I want to know. I want to know. Do anybody want to regain that seal? Uh, uh, do anybody want to be able to say, thank you, Lord? Uh, do anybody don't mind what they want walking around? They don't mind, don't mind clapping their hands. Uh, don't mind beating on the tambourine. Uh, don't mind singing. Uh, don't mind saying, thank God. You see, when we regain our zeal, uh, it gives us the energy to keep pushing. Uh, that brings me to uh, my second point. Uh, Stay put. And the second is why stay put? Because there's a price, there's a prize to obtain. Some of us have forgotten who we are working for. Huh? Our commitment has taken a hit. Huh? You need to remember, huh? Jesus told you before he left this world, he said, guess what? You will have trials. Huh? He said, he done it to me. And you're not better than me, huh? He said, but you ought to know, you ought to know, stay put because I go to the Father and greater things than what these are, you shall be able to do, huh? Taylor, guess what? Trials are coming, huh? No doubt about it, huh? But I feel, I feel our churches, huh? They're filled with those who have taken their eyes off the prize, huh? They started well. They were running strong. But circumstances have caused them to lose focus and now they are dropped out of the race. Uh, look here, look here, look here, look here, Taylor. Uh, God didn't call us to watch from the sideline. Huh? We are to run the race. Uh, God's not looking for spectators. Uh, he's looking for participators. Uh, do, do, do I need to say that again? Huh? And that's why I tell you when you come here on Sunday morning and, and you're just looking at me, guess what? You're a spectator huh? and you become a participator. Guess what? Every now and then, guess what? You can shake your hand, huh? you can wave your hand, you can say, thank God. Yes, There's some of us here today. I'm not picking on <laughs> Who need to resume the race? Huh? See, you know, you know where you dropped out. Huh? And life hasn't been the same since you dropped out. Huh? You see, the joy of serving the Lord isn't that like it once was. Huh? You look around and you see others running, but you can't seem to, to find the energy or the enthusiasm to continue yourself. Huh? You have become what is called a cast down sheep. Well, 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 preacher, what's a cast down sheep? Sheep. I'm glad you asked. Uh, I'm glad you asked. Uh, I guess I'm a sheep. Uh, 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 when a sheep uh, lay on their back, hmm, gas began to collect in their stomach. Huh? It hardens their stomach. Huh? It cuts off the air passage, and guess what? They suffocate. Not only that, but they, their legs also go numb in that position. Huh? They need a shepherd to restore them. Uh, and when the shepherd come up with one of his sheep uh, that's in that position, uh, you see, he, uh, he needs to restore them. Huh? And it don't just happen immediately, it takes time. Uh, what you mean? What you mean, preacher? Well, the first thing to do the shepherd lovingly uh, begin to massage the four legs of the sheep to get some circulation back. Huh? Then he begins to talk to the sheep huh? in a lovely, reassuring tone. Huh? Huh? He began to tell the sheep, you're going to make it. Huh? Huh? Then he began to stroke the sheep. Huh? And then he gently turns the sheep over, huh? lifts it up. Huh? Because right now the sheep can't stand up on its own. Uh, he'll hold the animal there uh, while the sheep begin to get its equilibrium. Uh, the blood begins to flow into his legs again. Uh, and the sheep began to get some stability. Uh, and when the shepherd uh, it's true that the sheep can stand on its own. Uh -huh. The sheep, uh, the shepherd would tell him, uh, come on, uh, come on, follow me home. Uh, Taylor, uh, can, you, can you imagine 
back, huh? Can you see that? What picture, huh? Uh, when we on our backs, huh? And the emotional pain of guilt, huh? grief, a grudge, or overwhelming of us, uh, huh? Will you remember that the Lord is your shepherd? Huh? How about we you remember? He loudly comes to us so, during the hands and reassuring words. So, he picked us up. Uh, he set us up straight until we can get on our feet and stand again. Uh, and then he said, Oh, my little one. Uh, uh, come on, come on, come on. Follow me home. Uh, uh, so, hey, uh, that's why I keep preaching hurting. Uh, that's why I keep preaching living. Uh, the prize often isn't won by the swift, huh? Huh? but by the steady. Huh? You don't have to make great strides every day. Huh? Just get in there and be steadfast. Huh? Huh? You, you don't, uh, uh, don't you want to finish well? Huh? Don't you want to run this race well? Huh? So it means for me preaching while I'm hurt. Huh? I want to finish with you. Yeah, I'm hurt. But guess what? I'm going to still keep rejoicing. It means for you testifying why you're hurting. Justified by God's goodness. But too many of us, we're committed to a paycheck and not God. You will never finish the race if you're not in the race. Paul finished well, didn't he? Did Paul finish well? Oh, I need, I, I need some participation. Nah, I need some participation. Uh, how do I know Paul finished well? Uh, this is what Paul said. He said, for I am not ready to be offered. Uh, and the time of my departure is at hand. Uh, Paul, Paul didn't have to have anybody to tell him. Uh, Paul said, I have fought. Huh? Uh, what kind of fight? You don't ready to be. Huh? Uh, I have fought. What? A good fight, huh? And I have finished my course. So I have kept. Anybody here keep this keeping? It's holding on, huh? Uh -huh. Is anybody here holding on? Uh -huh. Ask yourself a question, huh? Huh? Uh -huh. I will ask you a question, huh? Where does God want me to be? Uh -huh. That brings me to my third point, the brother Tim. Uh -huh. He wants you to be in his vineyard. Uh huh? Uh, that's what we look back all the time. Uh, we see time and time again uh, people of God suffering for his name's sake. Uh, anybody remember Amos? Uh, he was threatened. Uh, he was run out of town. Uh, anybody heard of Zachariah? Uh, he was killed between the sanctuary and the altar. Uh, Elijah, you remember Elijah? Uh, he was run out of town by Jezebel as she tried to kill him. Uh, uh, he become sad and despondent. Uh, he sat down on a juniper tree and he asked God uh, to kill him. Uh, you heard about Stephen? Uh, he was thrown to death. Uh, John was boiled alive. Uh, Peter was beaten on several occasions. Uh, thrown in jail, locked and stopped. Uh, Jeremiah was thrown into a well of mud alive. Uh, James uh, was killed, thrown off a cliff. Uh, Peter was in jail with the king, intending to kill him as well. Uh, I could go on and name some more, but you, but you get my message. Uh, all this happened to them because they was in God's vineyard, uh, working for God. What they do, they never quit. Uh, so, so how can we give up? Uh, how can we stop telling the good news? Uh, you see, if God has promised each of us, uh, I believe he promised us, uh, if we lose our life for his sake, huh, we shall retain eternal life huh, with him in heaven. Huh? So Taylor, Taylor, uh, it's time to be about our father's business. Uh, we need to forget the hurt, the pain uh, that comes with being associated with Jesus, your Savior. Uh, anybody remember Jesus was whipped? Uh, he was spit on, crucified uh, for every one of us. Uh, well, I need to get out of here, uh, but I want to tell you this. Uh, tell uh, we owe Jesus a debt uh, that we can never repay. Uh, Jesus, uh, he told us, uh, bless uh, other persecuted uh, for righteous sake. Uh, for great uh, is your reward in heaven. Uh, so, Taylor, uh, let me remind you, uh, 
Standing here 